Welcome to Quick Bites. Sim the world here making five star dishes in Cooking Simulator. Today, we're tackling chicken tiki masala with potatoes. There is a simpler version without the t potatoes, but I figured the only difference between the two recipes is adding the boiled potatoes, which my mind, if you can do this one, you can do the other one even easier. So let's get these potatoes ready to go first off. So we're gonna take a pot. We're gonna throw a liter of water in there. I'm just using the water bottle just to make my life easier. You can get this from the tap without any issue. And to that, we are adding 10 grams of salt and then two potatoes. Then we'll boil that for two minutes and that will be ready to go. Of course, we're gonna wait the boil until everything else is cooking. We'll save this for once everything else is ready to go. So this is there, ready. Let's tackle the tougher items. So starting off with the chicken breast, we're gonna take one chicken breast and cut it into 40 gram pieces. As with my other videos, my suggestion to you guys is grab a few chicken breasts and start slicing them. Uh, get a feel for where that 40 gram mark is. You can kind of tell here. It's not easy. I went through like five or six chicken breasts to get this to that, you know, to get this amount all situated. It wasn't ideal, but of course, um, there's not an easier way to cut efficiently and effectively. You just kind of have to eyeball it and hope they're the right proportions. So to this... Oh, chicken breast is the last thing we add to that. You got to follow the steps one by one. Uh, it is important. So first thing we add to the pan is 100 milliliters of milk. Let's grab our milk. That's 150 milliliters. I think I said 100. Let's pour this in. And we'll be a little careful, but we can always taste our way down. There we go. 150 on the spot. Don't need the rest of that. To this, we're going to add 10 grams of garlic, 10 grams of ginger, and then the chicken breast. Uh, seasoning, I found it's not as big of a deal to put them in order. But I find if you just plop things in, sometimes uh, it doesn't lay flat. Sometimes it doesn't prepare how the dish was intended. Whether or not it's realistic. So now to this, we're going to add our chicken. Uh, of course, I'm going to give this a shake just to make sure everything's level. And this cooks for 65 seconds. And once that's done, we are good to go. So this is out of the way. We've got our plate ready. I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll cook this while the um, potatoes cook towards the end. I want to make sure we get the sauce right because this has a lot of steps to it. And in fact, maybe it's going to be simpler to have the potatoes and the chicken already cooked, and we'll do the sauce in one step. So let me do that first. I'm going to turn this on, uh, turn that burner on, and we'll let these cook up to temp, and then we'll get the sauce ready. I guess it's a minute. We got a minute of time. We can talk about the components of the garlic. Garlic's an easy one. We gotta cut these into five gram pieces. You can try your hand at it, or if you throw them in the food processor, that you are guaranteed five gram pieces every time. I know when you slice it, sometimes you're more often to get six and four. It's very difficult to get five and five. This is my suggestion, the easiest way I've found. And as for tomatoes, you really should have a bowl of, you know, 15 gram pieces, 20 gram pieces, 25 gram pieces in your kitchen, just normally. Uh, so, so if you don't have one of those set up, make, you know, start slicing up tomatoes and organizing them. So to a pan, we need 50 milliliters of chicken is done. We need 50 milliliters of oil do that oh that was way too many we got to taste that oil down tastes like olive oil to me 
Maybe one more. Oh, 50 on the dot. Perfect. And from this, we need five grams of salt. You'll then do five grams of sweet bell pepper powder. One more. And then finally, five grams of these leaves. And of course, I got to move a little quick. Those potatoes are about to finish. Let's take a look. Have a couple more seconds to go and we'll cut the heat. Those potatoes are finished. So to this, we'll then add the tomatoes and fry that for 15 seconds. So I'm actually just going to pick up the pan. Go ahead and add 120 grams of tomatoes. We'll kind of spread this out so they're kind of flat. Give it a good shake. I'll actually move a couple of these. Make sure everything's touching the pan. And this fries for 15 seconds. Then we'll add the garlic and fry for another 10 seconds. So there's a lot of back and forth. Let me get ready here. This is 15 seconds. Now, we'll add the garlic. And I'm actually just going to drop the garlic in one by one. Make sure it's all spread out. I'm to get a good sauce in there. Make sure all the flavors are getting, all the vegetables are getting heated evenly. Even though it doesn't look like they're cut evenly. One last piece. There we go. Difficult to pick up. Don't need this anymore. We'll get rid of that. This fries for another 10 seconds, and then we'll add the peppers in. 10 seconds go. As you can see, this is where the proportions are as far as being heated. Actually, it is done, so let's turn off the heat. And we'll add the two Serrano peppers. And then this finishes for 20 seconds. Put that flat in the pan. We should be good to go. Let's get this in and start it. 20 seconds. So to the deep plate, says first off we want to add the chicken let me do that now we don't have to worry about the sauce and then everything should go in once the sauce is finished me we get a couple more seconds and we are done 20 seconds is finished transfer everything into the deep plate serve hot so what i'm going to be smart about this and we're going to do this in steps so tomatoes our peppers, our garlic, and then, so I don't dump this all over the place, we will add our sauce with the ladle. We'll make sure this goes in the bowl. Perfect. And finally, 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 we transfer the potatoes into the bowl as well. And this should finish off our dish. It looks nothing, oh no, potato hit the floor. That's not good. Yeah, it looks nothing like the dish in the pitcher. But let's see if we get our five stars. To the customer it goes. And there it is, five stars, fantastic. Makes me a little happy because uh, this was my first shot at the dish. I just had prepped everything prior. So to hit it first try, is really exciting for me especially since this is a little tougher of a dish you have to juggle between a lot of back and forth between the pan for the uh different for the sauce the chicken you got to slice up there's a lot that can go wrong a lot you can lose points in just the slicing itself but if you do these things prior to your you know in your prep time before and after in the cleaning phase of the career mode you should be all right. It's not a bad dish to make. You just throw some chicken in, 
You can even have that sauce prepared off to the side. Just heat that up. But hopefully this helped you. If you're struggling with any dishes, be sure to let me know down in the comments below, and I'll try to make sure that's the next dish we look at. Otherwise, thanks for watching as I simulate my life one game at a time. If you enjoy this video, please be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the future action. You can follow on Twitter for updates to future games being played, as well as follow on Twitch, as I'll occasionally stream live. Thanks, and I'll see you next time at Sim the world.